Hello, everyone. Welcome back to FFG Live here in the funky dentist's office that we call <laughs> the FFG Live studio. Uh, so we're here today to play some Keyforge. We're here back in the studio for the first time in a long time, which, which feels good. As you can see, we are quite a distance apart from each other so yeah. as to, uh, to uh, be safe and, and healthy. We're going to play some Keyforge. We're showing off mass mutation. This comes out on July 10th. July 10th. Is that right? Nice Friday. Yeah, a next week Friday. from tomorrow. That's exciting. Yeah. Eight days away. How many more ways can we say this? <laughs> uh, it's coming very soon. Soon, too. And we couldn't be more excited to, uh, to share this with you all. So today, uh, Danny and Aaron, we have brand new decks, real decks. For uh, real. So don't, yeah. let, don't let these people scam them before you do. You know, hide that QR code. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, brand new real decks, mass mutation. We're going to open them up. We're going to play them on stream. Uh, along the way, I'll be watching the chat, so you guys just throw your questions in there on Twitch, and we'll be, uh, I'll be shouting them out to Danny and Aaron as we play. Uh, should we get going? All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's, uh, open your deck first yeah, let's go one at a time. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Let's see that tape is still on there. Yep. 100% Undo. sealed. Yeah, untampered. 100% untampered. untampered. There were suggestions there a, that we should tamper with the deck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who do we got? What's our title? Uh, Desdemona, mm -hmm. Sir Ooh. Baron, Ash. Very nice. Desdemona. Desdemona. Wow, that's an yeah. interesting one. Interesting. <laughs> uh, and it's a Saurian Star Alliance disc deck. Ooh, so you could have Deucilus and the Seven Sins in there. I could. And almost certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't rare. No. <laughs> uh, I don't have sins. I've got uh, ooh, an enhanced axiom of Grisk. That sounds fun. Ooh. I've got Primus and Monument to Primus. Mm. How much of my deck should I tell you? Uh, every That's single card. <laughs> <laughs> All the cards, <laughs> since you're going first here. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. But, all right, what do you got, Danny? Let's crack this open. While you're opening it, uh, let's see. I see a question in the chat. Uh, someone's asking if mass mutation will be delayed. It will not be delayed. It was <laughs> delayed. It will not be delayed again. It's yeah. coming out on July 10th. It is heading to stores around the world even now. Um, another question about Keyforge Online and people wanting to play that, obviously. Uh, so it's something that. We, we don't have anything to share about that right now at this moment, but it's obviously something that is very, very present in our minds, something that, that we have considered and are thinking about. Uh, so, so stay tuned is all I can say for now. What do you got over there, Danny? Uh, I've got Magoth, the Empress of Bluemire. She <laughs> features, uh, yeah, way better name. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Baron, come on. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, <laughs> I've got Saurian, Sanctum, and Logos. Mm. Um, you could have two gigantic creatures. I could, and maybe <laughs> I do. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> oh! Ooh, I do have four copies of a card in this deck. That's kind of interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. Wow. I also have my favorite uh, Locust card in this deck. Playing it close to the chest, no, yeah. no reveals. <laughs> do I know your favorite Locust card? All right. It's, so, I think it might have been revealed in a previous live stream. If you were a true uh, Keyforge livestream fan, you might know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sanctum, in your deck, Danny, they're returning here with Mass Mutation. They are. Is there, uh, and, and for, for anyone who may have been familiar with them before, are they, are they kind of different now, or can they expect a lot of the same tricks? <laughs> what What's is happening? happening? <laughs> Welcome to live television. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, uh, Sanctum, Sanctum, they're a yeah. bit different. Yeah, they are uh, a little smaller, yes. a little swarmier, mm. yeah. a little angrier. Angrier, Ooh. yeah. yeah they're, they want to uh, purge some of this mutation, right? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. trying to purge some mutants. They put on red shrouds. And yeah, that's true. They've, they're more fashionable than they once were. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone away from the just armor look there's to a, some you know accents and accessories there's a trend yeah there's some sweet capes yeah in, yeah in the same thing. uh i think it's uh is it lieutenant gorbanol he's got the huge like red cape i think it that's, is like, yeah flying out. Yeah, yeah lieutenant gorbanol is looking good he is looking looking fine <laughs> um a question i see fine. here uh from dense oh, yeah, pineapple he's in my deck he's in my deck Ooh. lieutenant gorbanol yeah oh. we'll, we'll see him soon all right all right uh 
Dense Pineapple says, we haven't seen any anomalies from the Asian regions. Is it safe to say there aren't any in this set? And will they return? Ooh, is that safe? It is safe to say. I, well, I think I, to say. <laughs> I think it is, it is safe to say that we don't have anomalies the way Worlds Collide did with uh, those future cards that can be pulled into your deck. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But there is at least one card that was an anomaly in Worlds Collide that can be found in Mass Mutation. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Orb of Wonder from, yeah. from Sanctum. Not in my deck. <laughs> Not in your deck? No. So they've Tragically. <laughs> come back, they're still around. Yeah. Aaron, how would you describe what your Archon looks like? Mine's sort of like a, uh, kind of like a floating android with a I have a wispy cat eyes. Yeah, yeah, Th throw them in there as you describe them. Yeah. All right, so, so Aaron, it, what is that? There's mine. I, I think it kind of looks like a vacuum robot holding two sparklers. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Giving a snark. <laughs> yeah. A sassy vacuum robot holding two sparkles. Sassy vacuum robot. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Be a better name than Baron of Ash <laughs> right, or whatever. Right, yeah. <laughs> Desdemona sassy vacuum robot. <laughs> there we go. I think, I think it's probably in the name generator somewhere. <laughs> Should be. Yeah. All right. And, and, and then I'll throw, throw you in there, Danny. Boy, it's kind of far away now. I think from, from this distance, it does look like a. Uh, a hovering android with uh, kind of like a Medusa snake hair thing going on in the top, Ooh. and I think I think she's wearing a tiara. <laughs> of course, I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling good about Mega. Yeah, <laughs> she. Uh, I mean, we don't know exactly how she ascended to become the Empress of Blue Mire, but maybe we'll we'll find, find out. out today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little do you know, there's lore written for every icon <laughs> deck in It's true, it's true. We, we totally have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely humanly possible. Alright, <laughs> All right, you guys want to flip for first player? Sure. You can call. Uh, I'm going to say forged. Yep. Uh, forged it is. Okay, it. I'm first. <laughs> All right, a question, another oh, question from right Dense Pineapple as you figure out if you're going to mulligan Ooh. or whatnot. Uh, will the updated rule book also launch on the 10th? Are there any old rulings that changed? Ooh. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a rule book update that is going to be coming out about the same time as the Mesopotamian release. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. It will mostly be focused on the new cards and mass mutation rulings for those, mm -hmm. but it does have a fair number of uh, updates to, mm -hmm. uh, to clarify existing cards yeah, and I new think, rulings. I think we've already announced the. It's mostly clarifications. Yeah. Um, but it, the couple of cards that are, are being errated, I think we already mentioned the uh, uh, experimentation and the. Right, uh, the, the cards, cards that, that belong houses, to all houses, to all houses. now <laughs> can just be used if they belong to Auto Legionary, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, it's going to be good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, not to have to worry about not to have an theoretical un uncertain 13, number of houses. <laughs> yeah, a theoretical 13 amber gaining card or something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this hand is truly, truly terrible. <laughs> Sounds like a keeper. <laughs> Oh, it does, it does have my favorite card in it. <laughs> and you could play that as your first turn. I start could. off on the right foot. Yeah, I'm, I changed my mind. I'm keeping. <laughs> it's just that easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping as well, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to start things off then with my old friend Bot Bookton. Nice. Bot Bookton. <laughs> it's Sock Bookton and Helper Bot together. <laughs> They're stuck with each other now. So if anyone's tuning in who, you guys can just keep playing while I talk yeah, sure. Uh So if anyone's tuning in who hasn't seen uh, Keyforge before, uh, Keyforge is a card game where you are racing to forge yeah. three keys. You can Subject see them to the right of each player and there. I can play a non-Star Alliance creature. To forge so. those keys, you're going to need to collect a bunch of amber, which you'll see these players doing very shortly. <laughs> Theoretically. Uh, Theoretically. <laughs> Let's go ahead and access denied on your bot book then. That's so, so you mean. you can't use your sweet reap ability. Mm. And uh, <laughs> so sad. Anthony, even though 
you don't have any amber to capture. Uh, and then blast shielding. I did have a pretty sweet hand. I could play five of my cards thanks to Subject Kirby. Uh, let's give Anthony the blast shielding. Six power, two armor. Seems good. Wow. Seems like we may Go have ahead. underestimated what's going on over on Aaron's side of the table here. I'm not going to lie, I did too. Until you draw. Uh, well, Danny's taking his turn. Uh, they're asking if you can say the bit about the auto legionary and the houses again. Oh, uh, yeah. Auto legionary will, instead of belonging to all houses, uh, will have text that you may use it as if it belonged to the active house. Um, so that way it doesn't belong to. You know, yeah, it's so invented for cards houses. that are like, yeah. do a damage for each house among houses you control. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, how many houses is that? <laughs> and, uh, Unclear. An experimental therapy is the other one that used to say that this creature belongs to all houses. Now it's going to say this creature may be used as if it belongs to the active house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh right. my gosh. Um, well, I was really hoping I could reap with Bot Bookton. Instead, I'm <laughs> going to. None of this stuff is good, Aaron. I'm going to go uh, <laughs> Logos anyways. Diametric Charge, gain an Amber, deal a damage to Snudge with two damage Splash. Ooh. Two to each of these? Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's going to kill Kirby and kill Kirby it's going to guard armor. armor on Anthony. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, I'm going to Discombobulator on Bot Bookton. My Amber cannot be stolen. But it's going to be largely irrelevant because she's going to fight Snudge immediately. And uh, trade with Snudge. Trade. Yep. <laughs> so people are sad that their auto legionary zap decks are no longer <laughs> really good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Aaron. I mean, we don't want the damage to grow indefinitely, but. But it could. But it could. <laughs> would that be, I guess that would be fun. Uh, I think I, ooh, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, I'll go, uh, dis, dis, play soul fiddle, mm. and rabble. Is that the same thing as a soul dialing? No, <laughs> no, completely different. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh. You, you can't play a hoedown in a soul dialing. Dare I do this to myself for the amber? Hmm. That's a good question. I say yes. Okay. Okay. Since you say so, I'll play. I would never see you wrong, Aaron. Mark of Dees for the amber, but I do have to deal two damage to a creature. <laughs> I'll do it to Anthony. His armor will block it, but since he's not destroyed, I do have to call Star Alliance next. You have to call Star Alliance next turn. Yeah. Is it worth controlling myself for an amber? We'll see. I think so. We'll see what I draw. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right. go uh, I'll go Saurian. I'll play Galeotops. Ooh. It's a... Big boy. Uh, yeah, very big boy. <laughs> I'll play Chant of Hubris. An amber icon and a capture icon. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it's play effectual. Let me move that amber on to, yeah, I guess on the enemy. I'll give it back. <laughs> It'll give it right back to you. Yep. Uh, That's a oh, roundabout steal. Actually, I'm going to put it on Bravel. Okay. Because I have another chant of hubris. <laughs> that will then move it on Anthony. Okay. <laughs> a question from That's it. Osram Teleka. Can gigantic creatures have enhancements? They can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, could they uh, could they have it on like both halves, or would only one half collect them? So for uh, the purpose of enhancements, when the deck is being generated, it basically counts the gigantic creature as a single creature. Sure. So all the enhancements it has will end up on the top half. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going Star Alliance, of course. Get out an Explo Rover. Um, I will access to your Galeotops, not that that's oh very relevant. And uh, then I'll just reap with Anthony. He doesn't want any of that Galeotops action. 
Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> go ahead. All right, uh, let's go Sanctum. All right, my favorite house. Nice. Potion of Vulnerability comes out. Here's uh, our boy, Lieutenant Gorvanal, with his <laughs> sweet cape. Can we yeah. throw him on a card viewer? Just yeah. Like, yeah. Get a yeah. glimpse of that there. cape. Check out that cape. Majestic. Gosh. So majestic. Yeah. Just Can we just drink it in for a second? Nothing, nothing like capes. <laughs> <laughs> Throw down the Seeker of Truth. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Your fight makes you fight. Makes you fight oh man, Brabble's so annoying. <laughs> That's why I didn't kill it on my turn. I could have killed it on my turn. The question, uh, can anomalies from Worlds Clyde appear as legacies in Mass Mutation? Wow, that is a good question. Is a good question. <laughs> I think so, but it's like crazy. It would be crazy rare. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it's yeah, a percentage of so a percentage, so right? Yeah. Compounds. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent certain though, actually. Yeah. Someone has to go back <laughs> might, and consult the algorithm. It might not be possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, never play Smite, and I'm just gonna. I'm gonna bite the bravel bullet, I think. All right. Who actually? No. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, already in fight with Seeker of Truth. Uh, get rid of bravel. Lose three. Lose three amber. amber. Deal two damage to each of its neighbors. Oh, you should have gotten this back already as well. Oh, yeah. Jeez, Aaron, what are you doing? <laughs> Not maintaining the game state over here. Uh, he'll take one damage back, and then I can fight with a non-sanctum creature. So I can uh, <laughs> polish off. Let's put a rover. Wait, does he have any armor left? Oh. No, he shouldn't have oh, damage on him. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. But okay. is that armor, yeah? Disappointing. I'll still polish off Explore <laughs> over, I guess. <laughs> Alright, back to you, Aaron. Can you tell I'm rusty? I haven't played. Yeah, I haven't had anybody to play with in so long. This is, <laughs> this is exciting. I've been playtesting against myself. Yeah. <laughs> Can gigantic mavericks happen? I mean... No, I don't think so. Can't they? Can't they? I think we should make, you know, them discover all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Find out for yourself it'll, it'll be on lot, July 10th. It'll be a lot more exciting if you open one and you don't know. Yeah. That's true, yeah. <laughs> We can just say no, and then if they find it's it, totally just, impossible. just think about their joy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going Saurian? You're yeah, Saurian? Monument yeah. to Primus? I'd already forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's weird. Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I will do that. Um, play spoils of battle. Get an amber. Capture one onto Anthony, and then each creature with amber will capture one more. So two onto Anthony. Uh, and then I'll axiom. Mm -hmm. So I can ward Anthony and destroy each creature without amber on it, which is all your guys and then all my guys. That card is that really stinks. That card's real good. Two and chains. Gain two chains. That's why I guess. Yeah. Two chains. Uh, then console primus and another console primus. Or uh, some negative enhancement. It sure was. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. You remembered the first time, but not the second time. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Two Primuses. Oh my gosh. I get one of those Amber back though, right? Yes. Thank true, goodness. True, true, true. Very relevant with Primus around. Mm. Let's go Logos. You're not... Yeah, you're not in check yet. Sweet. Let's go Logos. Lethal Logica. Gain an Amber. Discard cards from the top of my deck until I hit a Logos card. There it is. It's in my hand already. It's Forge Compiler. Oh, 
It's a good card. I'll play it. <laughs> um, opposition research. You can't reap next turn. Oh no! Do you uh, you guys have any insight into whether gigantic creatures will be exclusive to this set? There's a lot of people saying that they love the concept and they're hoping that it does not disappear after this. I would not expect to see them in every set, <laughs> but I think they'll uh, they'll definitely come back at some point. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'd say because mm -hmm. yeah, they're they're super cool. Yeah, similar with enhance. It's not quite evergreen, but it's you know might be back by popular demand. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You tell us what you want to see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> all right. So I can't reap, right? Uh, correct. And it's my turn. Hmm. It is. It is your turn. That probably changes my plan. Yeah. Yeah, that changes my plan. Okay. I'll go Dees. <laughs> is that worth playing? Um, I can get out a Dominator Bobble, and it has a capture icon, so I'll capture one onto my one of my primuses. Primi? Prime. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm an expert on Latin pluralization here. <laughs> snare it. Uh, at oh the end gosh. of my turn, he'll capture one. This has a you lot of... You have all the cards that do that thing. All the capture. <laughs> and all the destruction. Uh, essence scales. Puts me at check. Uh, and I'm going to discard gateway. Cause I'm no, on come on, board. just play it. <laughs> It'll be cool. I think I'll play Implosion, though. Uh, nice. Destroy a friendly and an enemy creature so I can kill your Q-Mex and my Anthony, which I'll just pull up my ward. All right. Did you, uh, did you shed a chain and draw uh, one less card last turn, Aaron? I did not. Ooh. I cheated. Asterisk. Throw it all out. <laughs> no, you're going to have to start yeah, making nasty you're gonna have to, Exactly. You're going to have to take a drink from that <laughs> nasty That's never happened on stream before. <laughs> <laughs> this time. Uh, draw to five. Yep. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll see a bunch of people requesting the return of House Mars. Can we comment on whether House Mars will come back in the future? <laughs> I don't know if we can comment okay. on that. Yeah. Probably someday. Probably, Probably someday. It's, yeah, like, it's a safe bet. Yeah. yeah. It's not like they've ceased to exist or anything. They're still uh, on the crucible doing. Yeah, what are they up Martian to, you stuff? think? While they're, I while mean, they're on hiatus. Mostly they're like um, photo bombing uh, other art pieces. Being <laughs> <laughs> like, hi, how's it going? Yeah. Get squished by a dinosaur. I think they've taken off some hobbies <laughs> in their absence. Mm. <laughs> Baking bread. <laughs> <laughs> Got that, that sourdough starter. Exactly, they, yeah. It's, they it's just, huge on the crucible right They now. just learned about the existence of microorganisms, so. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Seems oh, like they'd be really into Aaron, that. you missed like all your end of turn triggers, I won't lie to you. I do. Okay. All right. Um, so here comes Sanctum. Here's, here's the general, General Zalador. And here's the Grey Rider. He's got a capture icon, so he'll capture one of your amber onto Salvador. And then I can ready and fight with Salvador. Get rid of at least that one Primus. You get that amber? I do. But I can't stop you from foraging. Oh, snap. Ooh, first key. First, first key. key to Aaron. Why, wow, this card? Sweet. Let's go. Choose wisely. Blue key. Ooh. Unorthodox. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Always red key first. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I think this this time. No. Not that one. I'll get out. Inspector. You have so many artifacts of the House of Dis over there. I do. I wonder if I have any way to deal with them. <laughs> uh, I can use Dominator Bobble 
Mm -hmm. Use a friendly creature. I'll use Primus to reap. And uh, then I can move one amber from a creature to another creature. So, let's do that. Ooh, after you forged a key, all my creatures got warded. I forgot about that. Oh, that's also relevant. Uh, Oh wow, Essence Scales is really cool. It is really cool. It doesn't have to be... Who designed that piece? card? Probably someone cool. Probably someone cool. <laughs> <laughs> Only the coolest person. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll Enrage... Uh, Zelvador? Zelvador, yeah. And then I'll Pain Mail, the Great Rider, hmm. which might kill him later. But he's warded, so I have to pop the ward first. So I'll also attack him with Snaret. Nice. Take two damage. Take that two damage. In response. Go ahead. Wow, Zeldor has four different kinds of tokens on him right now. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have Amber on him, but he captures one. Also, okay. Okay. Check all the triggers this time. <laughs> okay. Play by the rules. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't get kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> Shoot, I felt like I was doing okay, and I no longer f feel like I am. Mm. You got captured. Uh, uh, I I'm see sure it's it, there's a new keyword idea here from Neon Dragon. <laughs> new keyword new idea. New keyword, yeah. keyword idea. Ooh. Here it is, resilient. This creature can only take damage or be destroyed by fighting. They're suggesting it particularly for House Brobnar, and they're wondering about your thoughts on that. Hmm. Just saying. They're yeah. immune to non combat damage. That sounds very strong. It does sound exceptionally powerful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that could be good, though. Yeah. It does feel I would, pre Bromnar. I would, like, put it on, like, a little, like, one power, like, jelly, you know, that, like, you can't, yeah. like, do anything to it. It just, you know, <laughs> a gelatinous cube kind of thing. Yeah. It also has skirmish and elusive. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go Saurian. Start with uh, Dreadbone Decimus. I'm gonna exalt him to destroy a creature with lower power. Let's get rid of Primus. I'm just, I'm just done with Primus. Let's deal 23 damage to a creature in the center of your battle line. <laughs> it's way better than Zap. <laughs> For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Wait till we get to the 24th house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to play Defense Initiative just to ward Dreadbone. And then I'm going to Hedonistic Intent to exalt each flank creature. Oh, Salvador, Dreadbone Decimus, Inspector, and Snaret. Back to you. All right. Hmm. I wish I could call two houses at once. Not a thing. That would there should be a card. Be exceptionally powerful <laughs> in <some> situations. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh huh. Uh. I could see a card that lets you play two houses or three houses, and then you lose the game Ooh. at the end of the round. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, it's that's probably too powerful if you get it at the right time. I don't know. It's very. Uh, <laughs> you'd have yeah. to have very like, luck dependent. You'd you'd have to have a key cheat, or you would always lose. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that makes it interesting. Really situational. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe if it also let you forge at the end. I don't know. It's, I mean, also, a really really it's also a key sheet. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Just add more. <laughs> yeah. How about it also, also gives you, gives you six amber? amber. Yeah. <laughs> you have two keys. You and win. draws your whole deck. Yeah, okay. I think we did it. I think we balanced it. That's we a good there. card. <laughs> All right. I'll go Dees. Really? Oh, relentless Creeper. Oh, if something bad happens when you choose that house. My gray rider, um, the mail gets too painful for him. Yep. Yep. True. 
And that goes, I, I believe that goes into your archive. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. So good. Cool. Uh, all soul fiddle to enrage dreadbone decimus because might as well um do i want to essence scale or not probably not probably not uh but i'll use snaret's action to move the amber from this on to the common supply no amber for you and uh just reap with Inspector. I don't think I want to blow it up that badly. And, uh. Ha! When you have only this creature's Dominator Bobble is not as good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as I planned. I'm not sure Essence Skill is worth doing right now either. Yeah, so go ahead. Uh, a question here. Uh, so he captures one more. A question here. Uh, what was the hardest challenge balancing the enhanced mechanic? Good we went, question. We went back and forth for a, a good while over whether the Gloriana's attendant was actually better or worse than the Dew Fairy, right? Or no, not Dew yeah. Fairy, uh, Dust Pixie. Yeah, yeah, it is Yeah, like tough to evaluate whether yeah. it's better to get it as a burst or have it spread out. Yeah, we, we thought of it like, yeah, are they a little bit, are they better or worse than just having them all? It was actually, it was a itself. tricky mechanic to play tests in general because like the enhanced cards themselves, you often would see them and be like, yeah, this card's not very exciting. But then you'd also see, you know, the card in your deck that has like two amber icons and a draw icon. You'd be like, this card's broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's probably on balance. It's, uh, it's probably okay. It's more of a combo mechanic. It's, mm -hmm. it isn't always all that powerful, but if it lands on the right cards, it's great. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what I, I love about it, right? That it like, <laughs> makes every card so unique so it's like my yeah. inspector is different than your inspector you yeah know? Exactly. And it's like mm -hmm. every deck is already unique but now like the cards within your deck can be unique and it's just so cool it also changed the environment a little bit with uh it made card draw better because mm -hmm. you're trying to you have more bonus stuff that you do for playing cards you sure. know you got all those icons that you're racking up so uh card draw and archiving continues to be Really good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Speaking of which, I'm gonna go logos. And pick up my archive. Uh, I'm gonna start with mind over matter. Put each creature into its owner's archives. Ooh. Ward, ward. <laughs> you gain your two amber back. Get in there. <laughs> and Qmax, draw a card. Wow, Qmax, draw a card. Oh, here we go. <laughs> The Cubex train. <laughs> <laughs> and 14 cards later. <laughs> That's it. Back to you, Aaron. Ooh. I'm really sad that none of my Cubex have bonus icons on them. See a question uh, here asking if the Master Vault's going to be updated to show what cards have actually been enhanced. Uh, so it's not something that I can directly speak to, not being uh, totally involved in that side of things, and neither are Danny or right. Right? Uh, right. But it's definitely something that the team is aware of, the OP team and the mm -hmm. team working on the uh, on the Master Vault. So it's something mm -hmm. that is on their plate. I believe they want to add it. Um, so stay tuned for more information on that. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm going Saurian, and I'll play Citizen Tricks first. Uh, I can exalt Citizen Tricks. And steal one amber. Thank you. Then I can. Wait, not yet. Then I can. Why do you hit to Primus? Uh, move this amber over to a Cumex. Then I can Axiom, which has a draw icon, so I do that first. And then I ward a creature. And then I destroy each creature with no amber on it, which pops my ward. Then I get two chains. Two chains. And now I have two other creatures to play. Octavia and Nero Taurus. And that's it. Go ahead. 
how do you go about balancing the sets against each other? So yeah, there's a, usually a point midway through, we uh, start the play, te play test process just playing the set against itself, trying to get a feel for like what's fun, mm -hmm. what what's balanced uh, within the set. But then there's a point kind of midway through where we spend a lot of time uh, play testing specifically against other sets. Mm -hmm. And we'll usually sort of have tiers, like we have, you know, here's an average set three deck. Sure. Here's a really good set three deck. Here's like a vault tour level set three deck. And we play against all of them and try and make sure that the new set has a balance of, uh, of decks that are, you know, some at the same level, some that are at that really high level. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. sure. Yeah, we started out like it was helpful when the vault tour data started to come out. And we, that was right around when we were really caring about, you know, uh, interset balance like that. So mm -hmm. that, was, that was good data to have. Like, those are the top tiers. They should be very hard to beat, but eventually, you know, after enough playtesting, we'll find a deck that can stand up to them, or, you know, yeah. like, we should have some decks that can somewhat hold their own against them, but we realize that that's, like, the cream of the crop, so it shouldn't be too common either. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, we've also uh, been keeping our own playtest data, and then, yep. so then we can uh, sort of compare, we know which decks performed really well in the playtest, so, like, the very best deck from, you know, mass mutation playtests. We can hold that up and be like, that's yeah. that's the vault tour equivalent as far as we yeah. know. Oh, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure, yep. sure. Keyforge playtesting involves way more spreadsheets than any other game <laughs> yeah. that I've, yeah. I've been on. Yeah, <laughs> you you color code them. You use colors. Mm -hmm. You do, yeah. Okay, good. No, it's great. Good. <laughs> I always like good colors on spreadsheets. <laughs> I'm gonna go Sorian. Uh, I'm gonna Axiom. Oh no, no. Oh. I'll Goodbye to all your creatures. Right. <laughs> there went my And I'm also going to defense initiative toward Salvador and Ooh. reap with the Dreadbone. And I still am Did not so to tough. check on my first key. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, draw one, shed one. Going slow. Mm, I'll go Star Alliance. Oh. I have several Star Alliance guys. Um, Serious now and standing up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Scout Pete. Look at the top card of my deck. I may discard it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, Secure Droid. Oh, I'll play as a creature, which gives those guys taunt. And. Or which has taunt. I think I'll play Stealth Stir onto it so that it has taunt elusive. That sounds fun. It doesn't sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'll access Deny Your QX. Stop. <laughs> How many access Deny is that? There's three in the stack, yeah. Gross. Yep. Uh, go ahead. So drawing up to five, and I'm at check. All right. Let's. Oh, I have to shuffle. Question I see here. Uh, this is a fun one. What set were you working on this week in terms of number? Like set number. Ooh. <laughs> are we allowed to say? We? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Seven. seven yeah. Set seven. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty far ahead. Yeah, set seven is set seven's awesome. It's gonna start getting good. hype right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Not gonna That's lie. mutation. <laughs> But it's super cool to see like you guys working so far ahead and having like this this lifespan of the game ahead of you already. Yeah, it's really cool. It's yep. really really cool. We definitely keep changing the game, pushing the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go, Sanctum. There's Squire Alice. She's capturing two of your amber. Oh no! Here's the Eye of Judgment. Here's Smite. Uh-oh. Oh, actually, no, hold on. Who's kidding? I forgot how ready it works. Here's uh, Reap with that guy. Then Smite him. So he will fight Scout Pete, but he will, uh, so he'll lose his ward and his elusive, or his enrage, sorry. Enrage, yeah. <laughs> Scout Pete will die. 
and Smite will throw two damage on the Secure Droid. Okay. Oh, sorry, Secure Droid has Taunt, so it's the opposite. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, well, and, the, and Elusive, so. Oh. oh. <laughs> so he will keep his ward. He will deal so two damage to Scout Pete, and that's it. Rip. <laughs> wow. I mean, do, do you want to undo Mistakes that? Mistakes remain. <laughs> you can control Z that. <laughs> no, no, I've got <laughs> too much respect for the game. Yeah. Uh, then, man of integrity. I'm going to equalize. It has a damage icon. I guess I'll put another damage on Scout Pete. Just, I mean, I've dug my hole this far. <laughs> I'm too used to the playtest mode. We usually, we playtest against each other a lot, and we always do the assume optimal play, so you, like, can undo things and redo the... You know, as if you were the best player, but mm -hmm. I clearly haven't been doing that. Yeah, no, not on stream. <laughs> on stream, you're the player who walks in the door. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Some people asking Drush about and... if the delay of mass mutation due to COVID will push back the release of future sets. Yes, that is true. So this set is coming out here now in what month are we in? July. Um, wow. So the the next set, set five, is planned for release around February. So. Yep. It's going to continue in that kind of cadence going forward. Yep. I don't know if I said check, but uh, check. Okay. Sure. Um, does that change what I do? Probably not. No. Uh oh, Danny, did you reap with an enrage counter on someone? Oh, man. Maybe. <laughs> they, they mentioned that in the chat. <laughs> Should I rewind this whole turn? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going Star Alliance. I have a transporter platform. Probably would have been better if I hadn't reaped. I would have actually got through that elusive on security. Right? <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> that was probably the correct way to play the turn. <laughs> that's that's why you called that house. You meant to do that. Yeah. You had that all formulated. It's an angry reap. It happens. <laughs> Two. Send yeah, Kirby. Kirby. Get Let's here, dude. play another. Non Star Alliance creature, so Demosaurus, who has a capture icon. Uh, so I'll capture onto. I don't know. Kirby, I guess? Uh, because of the taunt. And then uh, I can exalt Demosaurus to deal three damage to a creature. It's worth it. Probably not. Probably not. It wouldn't kill anything. But QMX. Sure. So I won't do that. Uh, but I've got Survey as well, which has a. Uh, oh, wait, it's an Enhance icon. Had an Amber icon. And look at the top two cards of my deck. Discard one of them. Ooh. Then uh, I'll reap with Scout Pete. I don't discard that. And then uh, I don't think I'm going to get you off of check. No. No. Uh, think Secure Droid can kill Squire Alice. Take two right. damage. But I get an amber. Go ahead. Nice. Happy forging. <laughs> I will question forge the I yellow key. Here. Uh, so, given that you guys are designing several sets in the future and you know playtesting these sets hypothetically against sets that you know the, the public has not even seen yet, um, how does what's your design philosophy on how the current meta? affects all of that? Oh, um, we definitely try to design decks that sort of change or counter what's going on in the current meta. We want to keep mm -hmm. things fresh and keep things changing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we put like, I don't know, like when we were doing Worlds Collide, we knew that Steel was really strong and Shadow was really strong, so we put anti-Steel tech in there. Mm -hmm. Um, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, I mean... It's hard because we, we're so far ahead. Yeah, we have to anticipate yeah. which houses are going to be stronger in 
five and six, so we know, you know, where things should shake out for seven. But uh, we also are always learning, I think, from what the top players are doing right now. So mm -hmm. which strategies are really strong, you know, and and we're constantly reevaluating like how good card draw really is and things like that. And uh, and, and I listen to lots of podcasts and stuff like that too. So like we're always trying to learn from you guys what the the dominant strategies are and try to make them less dominant. Yeah. Sure, sure. So you're definitely very much like immersed in meta even if you can't affect it uh, on like an immediate basis. Yeah, there's yeah. quite a bit of lag, but yeah. There's that's why you're you're starting to see anti stealing stuff. Yeah. yeah coming out like now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to have a sweet logo this turn. Let's do this. <laughs> Qmax. Nope. <laughs> well, that's a sweet turn. <laughs> Qmax. Oh no. Um, let's go Nero Siphon. Gain an amber. Uh, steal one and draw a card. Ooh. Aha. Okay. Do you have any, as Dane shuffling, do you have any Keyforge podcasts that you really enjoy <laughs> that you'd like to shout out? Uh, should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, oh, yeah. The Wild Wormhole yeah. guys are pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's the new one that I've recently got into? Uh, the Bouncing Death Cork one is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're like the best for strategy stuff, I think. And nice. But I, I've just recently, just recently learned about them, so I'm like catching up on their back catalog now. That's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> if you have recommendations for what Aaron should be listening to, yeah, feel free to hit, shout them out here. <laughs> hit me up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check them out. <laughs> All right, I failed to draw any more Lotus cards. Um, <laughs> Qmax is gonna fight Secure Droid. Just send a message, and then it's gonna be your turn. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, wow, this I believe is you get to forge. I do. Forge for six, thank you. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> We've made it through this entire stream without making a deuce fun so far, so I'm going to let that slide. <laughs> Rad lives on. Uh, that part should not. The puns will never die. <laughs> Take my puns from my cold dead hands. Uh, I'll go uh, Soria. I can. Ooh. Axiom. <laughs> I can Curse of Vanity. Move. Or Zelda friendly creature and an enemy creature. Uh, which one do I want? to save from the axiom that Danny is totally called. <laughs> uh, and an uh, enemy creature. Let's just keep piling on the same guys. <laughs> Zavador will never die. <laughs> and uh, then I can also Chant of Hubris. Gain an amber. Move an amber from a creature to another creature. Now. This is this might be controversial. I ooh ooh <laughs> I like it spicy. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah. Then I will axiom. So I have to draw icon. Oh, I all ward, my Qmax. Ward this guy, then pop this guy. Kill all your Qmax. Take my access tonight. I'm playing right into your hand, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> this next logo is going to be really sweet. Just see, wait. Uh, it's all coming together. Yeah. It's all coming together. Uh, I think I'll run Damosaurus into your Corvinal. He's big enough to kill the Damosaurus, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. I should have done this. Oh, I don't have Primus in my discard pile anymore. So that changes it to just moving among friendly creatures. That's not that good anymore. Um, 
I have another Primus though, and another Nerotaurus. Oh, a Neurotaurus, wow. Yeah. Like a trendsetter. Cool. I hope I get to use him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think I'll pass there. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I had to gain two chains, so. Was there, uh, up to five. was there a steal when Demosaurus was destroyed? Oh, yeah, that's why I wanted to do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Thank you, chat. Forget you, <laughs> chat. <laughs> I was sorry. Here comes Gladiodontis. Um. An enchant of hubris. The people ask me, how do we get that sweet Gruen shirt that Danny's wearing? <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to model that for the camera real quick? <laughs> so that is through Hot Topic. You can get it on their website. Head on over there, search for Keyforge shirts. There's a number of different shirts. Some mm -hmm. of them have the logo. Some of them have that very nice yeah, Gruen great. art on a variety of colors. I think there might be one or two other options. I'm not quite sure. I think, so, yeah. I, think there's, I think there's like four or five different designs. But yeah, check it out. The Hot Topic website. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, the wild Pokemon. Yeah. Wild oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy's a real winner. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Chant a few bris again. So much amber moving around. Then Dreadbone Decimus. Wait. Yeah. Dreadbone Decimus is going to fight. Removing his enrage. Fighting Primus. Also Ooh. removing Ward. Give me two amber. And I will exalt him to polish off. Secure droid. With the. Oh, uh, no, no, he, he just destroys the shit out. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then I will defense initiative towards Salvador and exalt him toward each of his neighbors, Oof. knowing that Salvador uh, will never die. So there's really no <laughs> risk in exalting him five times. <laughs> Uh, check. Man, they call him the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Ah, that card is useless. You're pretty close though, Aaron. <laughs> Can you push across the finish? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. How, how much control do you have? <laughs> So much control. So much it's not control. even worth gaining it, don't have, but I would say. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have any visible, but you probably have some kind of way about you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. So Star Alliance. Um. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Uh. I'll reap with subject Kirby. I can play a non-Star Alliance creature. Get out Corns and Octavia. Uh, I'll be weird and put Access Denied on my own Kirby to get an Amber. Transporter platform my own Kirby. You get that Amber. Replay Kirby. Let's see, I could play another Star Alliance creature. It's not a thing. But uh, then I can I'm unable to reap Zalvador, so that's getting me up to check plus one. Check plus one. Uh, insurmountable lead. Insurmountable lead. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever come back. <laughs> uh, reap with Scout Pete. The top card of my deck. Um, this card is here. And then uh, Anthony. Wahaha, ha, capture all your amber. No! <laughs> I'm gonna forge a key and everything. <laughs> Alright, at the end of turn, I get one of it back. Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> Go ahead. So I've shed my last chain, draw the five. I'm at check plus two. 
question here. Uh, how does the relation with the artists work? Do you guys like always give them an art brief or do sometimes they design something and then you come up with, with a card around it? Interesting. Almost always it's us writing an art brief yeah. and then our art directors will work with them to, uh, to make the art based on the card we designed already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there have been a couple times though uh, where there was just like an artist who had some time and so we're like, hey, make some cool Keyforge art for us. And mm -hmm. some of those have turned into cards, like um, I think of Lamindra mm -hmm. and uh, oh my god, what's the untamed assault hazardous guy who's like a centipede with, with a million? Oh, uh, Fanghouse? Uh, Fanghouse, yes. Yeah, yeah. Fanghouse. Nice. Yeah, Lamindra and Fanghouse, I think I we're both that. just like commissioned cool. as cool art pieces and then we put cards to them later. Sweet. Yeah. yeah, so stuff like that does happen every so often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's more kind of for internal purposes. The the concept art that they make, mm -hmm. the uh, art directors will specifically work to get concept art. Like this is what this house should look like and what their vibe is. But sometimes they're so awesome we have to use them too. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. This time I really need an awesome logos turn. Don't let me down, Qmex. <laughs> If I, if I don't win the game this turn, it is Quixo's fault. <laughs> <laughs> As always. All right, Qmax, draw a card. Perfect. Qmax, draw a card. <laughs> you know what would really be great in this situation is the uh, play all three of your houses card. <laughs> <laughs> Gain six hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Forge key. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Between between my last ditch effort card, my Hail Mary card, and that sweet keyword, I think we made yeah, the game better. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Made the game better right here. It's been a very productive stream. Yes. Wow, those are all uh, cards from houses that aren't, that aren't logos. Aaron, you uh, you win this round. Ooh, oh, good game. Good, good game. game. Good game. <laughs> uh, yeah, no handshake this time. Handshake. Virtual, virtual handshake. handshake. Yeah, social distancing yeah. handshake. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, awesome. So, yeah, so this was Mass Mutation. Obviously, we were playing with the brand new decks that are going to be available it to, for all of you to buy in English a week yeah. from tomorrow. On, yeah, there's, there's more here. There's real decks. Oh. I have one in my hand. <laughs> uh, July 10th. A week from tomorrow so yes. eight days, eight days. Uh, thank you everyone so much for all of your comments and stuff it's been awesome to read how much how much you love the game and to hear your questions uh, Danny and Aaron <laughs> do you have anything that you guys want to say before we sign off no no I'm just super thank excited you, for mass mutation to actually be out there and be played with yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So super excited. thank you everyone <laughs> so much for watching. Thanks to Carolina Game Tables for creating this huge, awesome table that allows us to safely practice social distancing <laughs> and stream here in the studio at the same time. Please remember to like and subscribe, follow us on all our social media channels. We'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, we have a brand new expansion to announce for Civilization A New Dawn. So if you've played that board game, if you're interested in Sid Meier's Civilization, the video game, uh, maybe you want to come by and, uh, and see what we have to show off. So. Thank you once again, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>